All right, Swansea. Let's see what kind of shit you got in here. Give, give me that. Give me that. Thank you. See, letters of Rakesh? R Rakesh? Yeah, Rakesh. That's his name. Read that if you want. If you want to read that, you can. I can't. I'm not going to read every note. We'll be here. We'll be here all day. Warning letter. Dear Dr. Swansea, I must inform you of deepest uh, reservations concerning the Dr. Uh, S Strickland? Dr. Strickland and Harvey Fiddick's case. Mr. Fiddick has been hospitalized after several working. Okay, whatever. Cool. It's tempting to read, but, you know. Rare species of vampire. Let's just assume that, uh. Wait, what about the Chinese? Or the. What the fuck? And without even leaving the beautiful Great Britain, what about the stories about bat-shaped women sometimes seen flying around St. James Church in Louth? Louth? That's how you say that? Louth? Luth? Louth? Might be Luth. Probably Luth. Oh, the British. And your funty... Funty? What the fuck? And your funny words, like poppycock. And all of the sort. Did you know that the British is so fucking weird that they, at some point, they called tater tots uh, oven crumblies? <laughs> I have a spot of an um, of an oven crumbly. I don't know if that's real or not. <laughs> I honestly don't. If you're British, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. But you have funny words, and they make me laugh. They fill me with laughter and joy. Your accents are also pretty awesome. If, you know, if we're going by Xenoblade standards. <laughs> but if we are going by Xenoblade standards, then get me, get me that Welsh accent anytime. Hey, Neo, what's up? <laughs> I'm over here. I still gotta finish Xenoblade 2. Oh my god, 3's about to come out in like a couple of months. Because for some reason, the release date got pushed up. <laughs> Instead of getting delayed, it's like, it's like, good news, it's coming out sooner. And I'm like, no, I gotta finish the second game. <laughs> you can't, you can't do it without me. Not only I gotta finish the second game, I gotta finish the expansion, Torna. I think Torna's like, oh shit, I thought you were just a regular dude. Damn. Dude, hit the shit out of me. There we go. How much blood I got? I got a lot. That's like I'm sneezing every time I use that. He goes, That, yeah, that's exactly how I sneeze. I actually sneeze like a kitten. My nose is still stuffy. <laughs> For some reason, when I play this game, my nose is always stuffy. And I don't know why. I honestly don't. Maybe I'm allergic to vampires. That's just what it is. Alright. Oh, I'm sitting here walking around doing dumb shit. Talking about Xenoblade and stupid shit. I just got lost in playing the game, honestly. You know, you know what happened? In my mind, I'm just like, yeah, I'm streaming. Duh. If you ever want to watch my streams, just head over to Twitch TV. Twitch.tv slash Firestorm zero underscore zero. That's what you do. That's what you do. That's how you get there. What you do. And then you go and you follow me. And then you subscribe to me and you send me some money. And put a little, put some dollars in my pocket. You know what I'm talking about? Get that awesome streamer money. So I can become, I can become the ninja. And do the Fortnite dance Blue at my dear wife, at Emily. the ball drop I take in New York City. <laughs> Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Not a lot of you, Mr. Rainfield. You sound like shit. I think Let you're gonna die. And get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Oh, sweet, sweet lady. Hey, you're the lady that killed that vampire thing evening, that was going to kill me. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. 
Dr. Swansea has I'm more surprised at the fact that you're talking to me, but you're not looking at me. It's kind of freaking me out. It doesn't feel like you're looking at me anyways. Oh, now she's looking at me. saved me that night before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Okay. Well, I've been had. I'm glad to see you. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Oh no, that's bad. Well, I'm here to help you. Uh, I, I've made a conscious decision of when it comes to extra shit that's not really gonna help out the story and just gonna get a bunch of fucking like non answer like this. I have a question about vampires. My boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. See, that that's what I mean, right? It's like, ask the question and get the answer back of them going, go fuck yourself, I'm not going to answer you, right? Or they're just going to give you an answer that you'll find out by yourself anyways. So I'm just going to skip those, at least what I assume to be those, so we don't just sit here forever and ever. I'm Dr. here to help you. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. See, that's when you fucked up. You I paid the blackmailer. His most recent demands. All right, please continue. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Hmm. Is it true? Why would I, why would I even ask that? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's some damning evidence. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. All right, Miss Snippy, I'm just asking. Harriet Jones. Jesus. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. I love how she just stares far off into the distance, like she's being haunted by something. <laughs> All right, we're looking for who, Harriet? Are you? Oh, well, I never introduced myself to any of these people. I never talked to Tibbets, but I know who he is. Hmm. I'm assuming she's Gwyneth. <laughs> we're gonna go look for Harriet. Uh, Harriet. That's Dorothy. Are you Harriet? Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. No, nope, you're not here. Jonathan Reed. Doctor Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. Hello, Miss Pippitz. 
Uh, actually, let's get to know you while we're here. Okay, never mind. Uh, you've been a nurse for how long? How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Hmm. You're right. Fix yourself. <laughs> You're right. right. I'm not when God. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Sure thing, Nurse Pepper. How now? would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Mm. Get a grip of yourself. You must get a hold of yourself. Nurse. Wake up, woman. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. Well, I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Damn, dog. <laughs> How's the staff coping? How is the Pembroke It seems like you're having a bad job of coping. Not well. Bad job Milton, of coping. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual. Especially concerning doctors. Doctors? Why the fuck he mad? Why is Milton grumpy? On a daily basis is it just an act milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation whether he deserved it or not okay so why especially the doctors why does milton dislike doctors well, i don't know just ask him but be warned milton is not the chatty type uh, we'll see about that okay all right Shady businesses in the hospital. Have you heard of any underhand dealings within the hospital? I don't have time for such nonsense, Doctor. I've work to do. That didn't answer my question. Blackmail is a serious matter, Nurse Hawkins. Everything is serious around here, Doctor Reed. Starting with patients who need me. All right. Okay. Well then. Uh, Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. This is so important. Go go about your business. Go ahead. Go, go, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I mean, that person seems like they're a little bit in pain. You want to... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a good day, man. All right. Uh. Oh, hey. It's you. How are you feeling? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. Yeah, I don't remember him saying anything bad to me. He said, like, I, I gotta you, heal the dude. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. All right. Who the fuck is yelling? <laughs> Someone's yelling. Uh, what what do you do for a living? Make friend, uh, made friends since you arrived? How are you feeling, man? How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Okay. Where do you live? I mean, what, what do, do you do, do for a living, living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks, and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Hmm. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross, dude? Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. 
Not mine, anyway. Hmm. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really. But I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. We will. We will. All right. Oh, there's a marker. <laughs> there's a marker. I'm sitting here looking for Harriet. You're Harriet. Hello, ma'am. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's I'm no a, need for I'm a alarm, doctor, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Intern? Where's Dr. Swansea? How dare you? Shut up. <laughs> Please calm down, ma'am. Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. I am. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts slit a poor sod's vein. What? What? <laughs> It's not about a mer um, um, it's not about a medical error. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've I came here to learn about blackmail and, and I got See a piece of blackmail round. myself. She's like, did you know they're fucking in here? <laughs> like, oh the man. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Okay. Uh, there's a, is someone, oh, okay, someone is above me. Oh, wait, no, that's Swansea. Where the hell? It's five meters. From who? Where the fuck are you going? You're doing something shady. Wait. What, what happened? Is there a, uh, up there? Okay, hold up. Excuse me, sir. Excuse, excuse me. Come through. Oh, outside. Jesus. I cannot enter. It's locked. Ah, fuck. Uh, okay. I gotta, I gotta get out there. Up on a balcony or some shit, right? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Just gotta find. Just gotta find the right path. Oh my fucking god! Can I not? Can I not teleport up there? Oh shit! Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on. Come on, I'm trying to look for a way up there. Ha! -ha! Wait, this is it? Wait, uh, what? What happened? Oh, 
was too late. I was too late. Damn it. All right. I was too late. I, I wanted that, but I guess not. I should increase my endurance. <coughs> I gotta clear my throat. Jesus. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How's, uh, how's helping those uh, patients coming along? You seem to be doing important work, ma'am. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Okay. She still, uh, she still deserves our help. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps the old crone alive. Mm. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Are you the one fucking around here? <laughs> sounds like a... Sounds like a Jew. You're being so defensive about it. Who, who am I out here looking for? Oh, I guess it's you? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hi, Nurse Hospital. Brannigan. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. I kind of, I kind of find it weird how you're giving me the side eye, but, you know. Technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Okay. So, uh, since I'm going to have to get to know you anyways, what's the situation here? here? Not good. What's the 411? We're struggling against an invisible enemy. That's what the cool kids say, right? More lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Mm hmm. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Ain't that the truth. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here. And we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant do you have any juicy gossip? Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them. Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. But do it anyways. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Okay. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No, I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. You're a good person, so far, so far. Alright, that was all under your life? Yep. Personal questions. Uh, ooh, I'm not gonna come out the gate with that. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Okay. Alright, and I have nothing else or personal questions besides the medical era, and I think I'd rather talk to Tibbetts first. Have you seen a strange man 
visiting any of the nurses here. I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. All right. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Well, thank you for your time. That was quite pleasurable, actually. Very straightforward. I like that. All right. Who the hell? Who the hell else am I looking for? We've died to death so many times. What? You can't just die Eavesdrop. Well, yeah, I, I, I Ben knew how to do it. What, what am I eavesdropping on? Oh. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Did she... Okay, she did pull off in the boat. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what what happened? Heard no noises. Wait, don't you go, don't you go. I want to know what the hell you were up to. Who the hell are you? Hello. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... But we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Musophobia. The, the fear of Mufasa. Can't watch The Lion King, poor bastard. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. I guess he's mean like mentally fragile. Okay. What about yourself? What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. Taking care of each other since we came back from the front. That's good. That's good. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. Hmm. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. Because of the rats. Okay. I'll go look for him. I have him. all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. All right. I guess I'm heading to the canal myself, right? I'm just gonna yoink. What is that, opium? Ah, uh, that won't cause any problems in the future. No siree. Opium's good. It's good for everybody. That was a joke, opium. <laughs> we had a very bad opium addiction problem. Okay. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. It's not locked this time, but he's locked it. He's locked the door behind he's him. He's locked the door I behind him. I need to find him. another way to follow him. Oh, that doesn't sound good. 
Cause like someone just got ripped apart. Huh. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. I hear somebody. Somebody somewhere. Why, hello there, sir. Don't mind if I just help myself to a nice meal, okay? There you go. There we go. You didn't even put up a fight. There's a guy up here, right? I can go for a bite. Oh wait, I just, I just did. There we go. Oh shit. That did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Okay. I'm level 5. I should level myself up very soon, actually. What's this? I'm hearing somebody. But I'm not seeing anybody. Where you at, dude? Sounds like somebody's being tormented. Shotgun shells. Citizen to save. Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. Oh, so if I progress time, where where's the citizen? Oh. Oh, there's Oswald. Oswald the octopus. You guys ever watch that as kids? Yeah, like a pet wiener dog? Best friends were like a, a penguin and a sunflower. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. There we go. One, two. Ow. Damn, you got an arm on you, buddy. There we go. It's all right, sir. You are safe. I have come to rescue you. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Citizen rescued. You rescued a citizen. He will return to the district the following night. I'm going to take your shit now. Thank you. Always pick up everything you can. I think... Hmm. Is this where I'm trying to... Oh, wait, no. This leads directly outside. Shillings! I need them. More bullets. Well, that was easy. I'm gonna eat this rat now. I can't believe I'm doing this. The ban of the dragon. What the fucking fuck? From the law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave, founder.
Is this the, uh, figure I laid out? What? Oh! What sort of creature is this? I mean, it looks like a werewolf, to be honest. Seems like it's resistant to my blades. That's okay. dog you are. Ha! Ha! Ow! I think I'm a bit under level for this one. Ow! Oh my god, motherfucker. The one hit you did to me took... Half my health, are you serious? Resisted. Try to get as much distance as possible. I'm gonna use this gun to the best of my abilities. Bow. Ow. All right. Got one more bullet. Switch back to my state. Hmm. Yeah. time to attack. Recognize the pattern a bit. Ow! Alright. Not good. I still have this, I have this bludgeoning right here. I wonder if that's gonna do any more. Nope. About the same. Motherfucker tried to grab me. One. Two. Come on. Keep calm. Just keep calm. I'm definitely going to level myself up after this. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Heal myself. Got a little greedy there. One, two. Back it up. Oh shit. Woo. That was pretty close. One, two, 
one, two. Get that bite in there. And I win. Woo! Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. You didn't drop anything for me? Homeboy's just uh laying there all ass naked. That's okay. Let's see. If you are sick, you have no money. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Pen Pet Peter Peterskew? Pet Petrescu? Pet Petrescu? Find Darius's house and present this coupon. And then a bunch of fucking language that I honestly am not Some gonna try to read because I will butcher. What is Nurse Crane up to? Seems like Werewolf they Man really must find her. had a uh, had a nice den here. That's the same one, right? Okay, cool. The voucher from Nurse Crane. Is a rat. Delicious. Am I going the right way? I am. Time to get the fuck out of here. I'm a chef, chef too. 